it's all about style matching. So I'm gonna show you how to use generative fill and how to use Adobe Firefly to match your style of something that you've created. So when we're working with this image, let's say I wanna reimagine it in a different style. So I wanna create this out of clay. And we have generative fill, and I'm just going to do this as clay. So it just generates clay, right? And it's not necessarily taking in the input of what's happening in the background. It is just 100% filling with clay. Here's what we do. We're going to create a new layer hitting Control Shift N. We're going to hit the Q hotkey and Q is going to take us into quick mask. You can see here that we have that red layer. That means we're in a quick mask mode. So using the paint bucket tool, we're gonna to make sure that we have black set right here. Boom, click right there. So the whole thing is selected red. That means that it is filled 100% with black. I'm going to hit Control Shift F, and that's going to bring up the fade panel. So if I change this to about 50%, so I'm going to hit OK right here. To go out of quick mask mode and just use our selection, we're going to hit Q. So we're gonna hit generative fill. Maybe let's do colored clay. So there we go. It is converted and it's done a really good job. But what it's telling me is that it's actually considering the prompt a little bit too much. Let's do 75 and see what happens. And same thing, I'm going to do colored clay. All right, so we've gotten a lot closer. I like what's happening with the type. One more time with that workflow. Let's do 65 this time. So you can see here, this is the 65% and this is the 75%. So you can see it gets a little bit cleaner and it gets a little bit closer to that original image. Let's hop over and take a look at Adobe Firefly. Let's come in here and I'm going to do a living room at Christmas, fireplace, Christmas tree, gifts, wreath candles and a chair. So then at the end here, I am going to type in line art sketch and maybe pencil drawing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the image. So now I'm just going to go to control new and create a new document. So control shift N is going to create a new layer Q to enter quick mask fill with 100% black. And we're going to fade the selection to about 90% which means that it's only going to be considering 10% of the prompt and keeping 90% of the sketch. We're gonna hit okay here. From there, we're going to do generative fill and we're just gonna describe the sketch that we've seen. So we're going to hit generate here. You can see that it's a little bit different, but it's only taking in 10% of that sketch, right? Here's where the magic comes in. I'm going to set this at 50% and then generative fill. We are gonna put that same prompt in and hit generate. Turned out pretty good here. So you can see that we have matched the sketch almost perfectly using that 50%. I need this chair to be red. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a new layer and we're gonna help give Firefly some more information. And so I'm just going to try to paint in some of this color and we are looking fantastic. Okay, now we are going to do our workflow one more time. There we go. So we have our red chair with the blue pillow. We've got the blue curtains over here. So check this out. We are going to open up a document that I have here. So I'm gonna use the object selection just to select that little guy. We are going to control C to copy and then we're going to paste him right into our scene. I also am gonna grab this Christmas tree here. I am going to add a gradient map over the whole thing. That's just gonna help me bring the colors together. From there, I'm gonna change the blending mode of this to soft light. And we're gonna hit Control Alt Shift E. And that is going to merge everything down. So go to filter, filter gallery, and let's go ahead and try a charcoal pen. So we've converted into a sketch. Let's go ahead and do our workflow. And I'm just describing the sketch scene that we have here. So we do oil painting and then bright colors. And then here you can see that it has converted that into this different style. So really, really cool workflow. So we're gonna go back into Adobe Firefly on the web right here. And I'm gonna show you another way to kind of match your style. Pattern of cactus and tropical flowers. So I can come over here and I can actually change in the reference image gallery. So this is going to match a style. So we're gonna upload my own image and now it's uploaded as my style reference. Now I do want it to consider this image a lot. So we're going to hit generate. So now you can see we do have the cactus and it has changed from those renders that we had in the past and it has matched the reference of the image that I uploaded. I'm not mad about these at all. 
Thanks so much for joining me. Hopefully you learned a bunch during this stream. It is a really fun workflow. So play around with that, try to create something and see what you can make using this style matching technique. Bye everyone.